frozen when heaven extinguished the pyre. But one spark is enough to reignite a revolution. The Bone Shaker, our trade, travels the rail connecting our two worlds. The last surviving remains of the pyre drives the heart of our engine. The gilded wing will stop at nothing to destroy it. But the champions of hell will defend what's ours. Because if we don't, there will be nothing left to defend. Hello everybody, this is Chaotic Fear and this is a beta game made by the developer Shiny Shoe I do believe, or Shiny Shoes. Uh, the game is called Monster Train, we had a code for this game to try it out so um, I'm a, it's like a card, a deck building card game and we're gonna see how it plays. This is the very first time we're playing, that was the intro into the game which was kinda cool. So let's get right into it. And right here, welcome to hell. Your train is carrying precious cargo, the last remaining shard of the pyre. Needed to relight the fires in the depths of hell. Invaders from heaven, the winged, will do anything to prevent you from completing your journey. You must make wise decisions and build up your band of monsters to have any hope of success. Good luck, Hellborn. See, when they say wise decisions, I should be the last one picked to do this job. So, we have 100 coin, we have 14 cards in our deck, and the Hellpire, the last remaining essence of Hell, and will be damaged if your enemies reach it. The run is lost if reduced to zero. Okay, and I'm assuming we go here, so we got our train. Hopefully there's a tutorial. Okay, Heaven's Priest. These disciples have dedicated themselves to the service of heaven and will attempt to restore the life of their companions. And we're going to fight them. Okay, protect your pyre. If it takes too much damage from enemy attacks, your run is over. Okay. Enemies have boarded your train. Enemies enter at the lowest level and move up one level every turn. If they reach the top, they'll attack. Okay, we'll see what happens here. Summon units to defend your train. You can play each unit card once per turn. So what do we have? We have a train steward. We have torch, torch, torch. We have a three times two. I think that's an attack and then three health. Thornbreaker Prince. Let's uh, put him right here. And then he has a lot of health, so we might keep him in front. Maybe. And then we'll race for this guy. Instantly burns. Once you end your turn, combat plays out all magly. First enemies attack the friendly units closest to them, then the friendly units who survive the attack goes to hit. Nice. Okay. So we have another one, but we're gonna keep him, I think. He can be used on the second level. This restores three health. I don't really need that. And then we'll do that to them and end our turn. We will keep these cards, I guess. He gets two attack, which is nice. Well, I got a lot of restore health, but it doesn't look like anyone is here now. We'll put him there. Guy. 
defeat the boss to win the battle. His relentless ability means the combat will continue in this room until you or he is defeated. We're gonna use all of them right away. Oh, not, oh, I have Ember. Oh, okay, I see what this is. Okay. Ooh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, we did win, though. We did win. We had a flawless battle, apparently. 1,000 points. Boss rush bonus is 100, so we get 1,100 total score. And spoils, we get 25 coins. Clan pack, allied clan pack. So we get to choose a card, apply four armor, summon, apply three rage to friendly units, and summon, gain five ember. I think we're gonna go with the armor. Oh, we get to choose another one. Deal five damage to the frontline enemy, nice. Deal two damage, move that, move that unit to the front. Enhancing you, oh, this would be really good. I think. I'm not quite sure, actually. So we have Merchant of Magic. Forge your spells to gain new powers. Merchant of Seal. Forge your units to gain new powers. Gain an Awoken unit. Gain a Hellhorn unit. So I don't know what this exactly means, but we're gonna go over here. It costs coins. Upgrade a unit with... Plus six, that would be handy. Upgrade a unit with plus one, whatever this is. And that would be really good, like, remove a card from your deck, you can purge for that. I kind of want to try this card. But, that's gonna take all of my coin. That seems really good though, honestly. Whatever this is. <laughs> oh, you can just... It just upgrades one of these guys. Okay. I mean, that could be good, I guess. Let's just do that. I don't know exactly what we're doing, but hey. Oh! So you can just choose a card. Sweep. Dude, he's very good for health. That could be a good tank. Multi strike too. Okay, we're gonna go with this guy. And it looks like I cannot go to that side, so I have to be careful which where I go. I guess I cannot go there. Okay. These spiked foes will make direct. Attacks more painful. Using spells from afar will let you fight without sacrificing your units. Okay. Like I went all my phone, but oh, what is this? Oh, okay. Got you. Oh, it takes away the. Okay, I don't know quite what we should do. Combat previews are now enabled. The preview number shows the amount of damage each unit will take during the next combat phase. A red X means that unit will be defeated. There we 
go. And right away, just takes the dude out, which is nice. So we don't have any enemies, but we can put him there. That's a boss. Yeah. He had two damage. Okay. Okay, this is gonna be interesting. What is this? This card, okay. Speed up combat, click the gain speed button in the top right to toggle the speed. Okay. Hundred boss rush bonus to 140, and then we get more of these. Deal 100 damage to friendly and enemy units. That seems bad. Plus two per stack decreases every turn. Add applies five rage rages plus two, so I would give 10 damage. This could be good against the boss. But that seems dangerous. I don't know yet. Restore 10 health, draw 1. Restore 2 health to all friendly units and deal 2 damage to all enemy units. That could be good. Consume. Apply, apply spikes 4. Do that. Okay, so down here, something interesting can be found in the frozen Hellvent cave. So we got duplicate any card except your champion. Gain a Hellborn unit. Forge your spells to gain new powers. Gain an artifact. We're going to go to the artifact way, so we'll go down here first. I don't have enough money. We can purge a card. Yeah, that sucks. So, when a card... With consume is played, restore five. Okay. Rage adds an additional. Why not? Let's see what artifact we get. Two ordinate chests have emerged from the thawing ice. Both chests have a strange lock mechanism that look like they can be picked with shards from the pyre. The more decorated chest might take a few more tries though. Do you break off some of your... Ah, you gotta... You gotta lose some of this, eh? I gain 150 coins if I... Lose 25. Let's do it. Probably not the smartest thing, but I had to try it. Upgrade a spell with four magic power. Upgrade a spell to remove consume. <laughs> Not eligible. I'm gonna do this one then. More damage is uh, what I want. Heavily armored creations protect this ex professor in his quest to safeguard Seraph and the Winged. Yeah. Plated seal. Enemy units enter with damage shield. Okay. Uh, is the strongest boss. 
you face yet. He moves between floors freely, but can be attacked if you clear out other enemies on the floor. <laughs> okay. This bomb has been triggered. The ability will explode on its turn, dealing damage. Mouse over units with the purple trigger icon to see the details of their ability. Defund and deal three damage to their front. Okay. November? Okay. Oh, I just wasted that dude. My bad. What? How'd he get up there? Oh, that's not too good. This isn't good. Some spells can only be played once per battle. Cards will consume are placed in the consume pile when placed. Okay. I think we're gonna lose this. <laughs> Two, he has two. Not enough. And that should be all for that turn. Now she's gone. This is just gonna go on forever, final wave, relentless. Two does one has armor. this one. Yeah, that's the first hit. 
And we lose. Move a unit to the front and apply 10 armor. Okay. Summon abilities trigger an additional time. Now, do I keep my cards? Oh. Assume apply two, uh, regen two and spike two, add two copies of this card to your discard. Okay, I, I got to accept them apparently. Grant one stack of spike each time it's applied. Thank you for participating in the monster train beta. We need all four, all forces on board to make sure hell burns again. Follow them on Steam. A chat with the developers and other players. Do a survey, which we can do. The full game will have more content and features. Three more clans, new events, 100 plus more cards, uh, new bosses, 30 plus more artifacts, logbook feature. Okay, so after going through that you can see single player. There is a multiplayer. There's a run history, which I think just shows Where we did And it shows your highest score so you can uh, you know improve and whatnot Logbook not there. We got your settings for sound quality Obviously you want that on game speed you can change Definitely something to get used to. Honestly, for not playing a lot of card games, it's not bad. It's uh, pretty unique. You're ba um, you get the, you know, your three layers. Your fourth is kind of your health that attacks back to try to stop from uh, stop the enemies from uh, beating you if they get past everyone. You got to play a little uh, bit bit of a strategy game for sure, placing cards and where to place them and how to get past this so it'll take time it's not honestly bad i don't mind it i think i will join their discord to see what goes on might try multiplayer later but i think that's a a good first look at the game got to see up to i guess the toughest boss who moves from floor one two and three while you're still fighting the other enemies and they're pretty tough but you just kind of need better cards but I appreciate you guys tuning in. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, like and subscribe down below. You can comment. I'm doing a lot more videos as the days go on. Hopefully of different games. And hopefully more first looks at uh, more beta games. This was pretty cool. See you guys later.